Hello, this is Tofen Trifle Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how you can actually apply texture effects to any model in Blender by using the add-on called the Node FX add-on. It's not free, you have to pay for it, but for the price, like I always say, it's not that bad. Uh, it's for Blender 3.0 series, all the way to up to 4.0. I'm using 3.4 myself. And I'll leave a link of it below the video so you can download yourselves and check it out. But the installation process is still the same. Click on Edit, Preferences, Install, Navigate where you've downloaded it onto your computer. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that myself. Let me type in Node. And you put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's on the right-hand side of the UI over here. It's a pretty basic and straightforward setup. And it does quite a bit, um, helps you out quite a bit actually when it comes to texturing your models and having effects uh, based upon the texture setup. So it makes it easier to have those effects on your models. Uh, but let's set up our scene here. Let me change the view to a sky blue color, maybe a little bit darker, like a purplish color, a dull blue. We're gonna get rid of this cube, delete our keyboard. Shift A, go to Mesh, and Monkey. We've got Suzanne here. And we're going to texture her a little bit better, or actually kind of uh, smooth her out. I'm going to add a modifier to her. Subdivision surface. Bump that up to 2. Apply that. Left click and shade smooth. Now we have that uh, on Suzanne. Now, this add-on, the cool thing about that that I've discovered is that if you have a texture applied already to your model, it will actually apply these textures, these texture effects to the top of that texture that's already been applied to your model. I'm going to click on this uh, uh, set here. I'm going to change our viewport to uh, cycles. It can render in EV and in cycles. But most of it renders in EV are actually cycles. Uh, some of the renders for the node effects add-on when it comes to the texture uh, renders aren't that good, but they all work perfectly in cycles. So we've changed our viewport to cycles, GP with the uh, strong graphics card. And with our model selected, we're going to click on, uh, I'm going to click on this texture here. And I'm going to choose tile. There's another add-on I've already showcased in the past. And I click Apply Material. So let's apply that to our, our model. Now we're going to go to the Node Effects add-on. I'm going to click on, let's use the default uh, texture that we have here. I have to do is click on Add, and it adds it. And it does a really good job of applying that texture effect to uh, the top of the texture that the mod already has. You might be thinking, well, what's the big deal with this? It's just a texture of some uh, fire, but it doesn't do anything else but that. If you scroll down, you have all the settings, so you can set all of these. Like, for example, let's uh, let's animate this, animate this fire and make it look like it's spreading over the, uh, over Suzanne. We can reduce our strength here. And with it on one in the timeline, hover our mouse over here and press I on our keyboard. And that uh, sets the strength to that that amount. Now we're going to pull this up to about 60. And we're going to click and drag to have the effect appear on Suzanne. And press I again. Now if we go back in our timeline and press play, see what happens. You see that? See, it, it spreads over Suzanne, and that's the cool thing about it. You can do the same kind of animation with the emission, transparency, the scale, and the seed. And now we can change, we can remove this effect by having to highlight it, click on remove. And let's, let's try uh, another effect. Let's see what another one can do. Let's click on that icon. And it gives us a display of different uh, node effects that it has to offer different presets. 
And let's click on illumination there. Click on add. And it gives us this cool like sci-fi hologram kind of look to it. Once again, all these settings are, down, settings are down here. You can animate the emission, the hue, saturation, so on and so forth. And it's really just a straightforward, nice add-on to use. It makes animating the presets of these textures very, very simple, very, very easy, and very, very pleasant to use. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip, the Node Effects add-on. And once again, download yourselves and check it out because it's, it's really, really nice. And once again, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.